Flooding is a common occurrence in Canada. This is the story of one such event that unfolded in Alberta. Kevin Wetz and his beloved cat, Momo, were driving when the flood hit. They were driving until the flood forced them to stop. Afterwards, they were essentially floating, and then the car started to sink. Just imagine how high the water rose. Kevin faced another serious problem, the car windows were jammed. This meant it was hard for him and his best friend to get out. They were trapped in a situation that was pulling them deeper and deeper. How often do people think about their pets in such moments? We mean truly life-threatening moments where every part of your body is consumed by panic. But Kevin didn't give in to fear. He made the firm decision not to leave his beloved cat behind. It was difficult, but Kevin managed to smash the rear window of the car with his elbow. He wasn't expecting much. Half of the car was already underwater, but the young man, clutching Momo, started to climb out. Once they were out, the young man let go of his pet. Kevin was surprised that the cat didn't cling to him, but instead started swimming on his own, allowing his owner to reach dry land too. Momo was less than a year old, and he had never been swimming before, but he did great. The young man later shared that his pet used his tail like a rudder to swim faster. It turned out that the young man had been getting Momo used to water since he was a kitten. He loved getting into the shower with his owner. In this way, the two friends managed to reach safety, where they were spotted by volunteers who were helping during the flood. They immediately wrapped Momo in a blanket and then found one for Kevin too. After the young man returns home and tells his mother what happened, she'll yell at him for thinking about saving the cat first, and then himself, when he could have died. Kevin will answer her that he considers his cat to be his child, and if anything had happened to him, he wouldn't be able to forgive himself. Because of the flood, the young man lost his keys, wallet, phone, and clothes. But none of that matters to him, because he managed to save the most important thing, 